Today, we're going to be discussing the best Premiere Pro DaVinci Resolve round trip workflow right after the intro. <laughs> Howdy, partner! If you're anything like me, you love color grading DaVinci Resolve. The platform offers you much better capabilities than Premiere does. But you're old and you're stuck in your ways, so you prefer Premiere for editing. Well, that's not a problem anymore, because with this round trip, you can edit in Premiere and color grade in DaVinci Resolve with minimal issues. I bet you've already seen countless videos on the topic. It usually tells you to export a timeline file from Premiere Pro and then import that timeline into DaVinci Resolve. Then color grade your clips and then export an XML from DaVinci Resolve to open that once again in Premiere Pro. Sounds good in practice, but if you have any more elaborate cuts, if you have speed ramps, you have time dilation, you have any effects on there, you have transitions like cross dissolves, or even you just rescaled the image and say you had a little thing in the edge of your frame like the scissors or whatever something that's on the edge of your frame that you don't want in there so you just scale your video just a little accordingly maybe you even rotate it well once you input that into DaVinci Resolve the settings won't be the same and you bring it back to Premiere you're gonna have weird scaling problems and rotation problems which you don't want after all, you're only in DaVinci Resolve to color grade. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to do it in the most simple, the most easy manner. What you do is you edit everything in Premiere Pro. You bring your cut until it is pitch perfect, right? It's got everything you want. You've got your music in there, you've got your sound design, you've got your cuts, you've... the video is done, right? All you need to do is now go and color. Great. At this step, you open up DaVinci Resolve. Forget Premiere, close that program. Open up DaVinci Resolve and input all of the clips that you used in your Premiere Pro file. Only the ones you used. The ones you didn't use while editing, the ones that you just got rid of, forget about those. Only input the clips you used into DaVinci Resolve. Then go ahead and color grade those. Don't worry about the editing. Don't worry if there's a bunch of stuff in those clips that you cut out in the Premiere Pro file. Do not touch the file, okay? Don't change the length of it, don't change resolution, don't change anything. Just color grade it, okay? Do your color grading, you know, white balance or slap on a lot, or you do your own for anything, whatever. That's not what this video is about. What you do, once you're done with color grading, is you export the clips from DaVinci Resolve as individual clips, okay? You choose your folder, you call it color graded, whatever, and you choose the individual clips option. Then you choose the best uh, uh, export settings you can find in the Vinci Resolve that your computer can handle, the best bitrate, and you let it render. This might take a few hours depending on how long your project is. DaVinci Resolve does not have very good render time, but the quality is really good. Once you're done rendering with that, close DaVinci Resolve. Now you should have two sets of clips. You should have your normal clips straight out of the camera, probably some sort of raw format, and you have the color graded um, MP4s from DaVinci Resolve. These clips should be exactly the same frame rate, resolution, uh, length, duration, same thing, um, as the non color graded ones, except that they should be color graded. These are the colors that you want. Open up Premiere Pro, choose in your media window all the clips that you used and then right click and click replace. Now you choose the according clip from the color graded section that you got from DaVinci Resolve. You click that and all the information, since it's all the same, will be transferred onto the new clip and your cut will still be the same. Okay, This is why it's really important that you keep the duration uh, of the clip the same and don't change that. Okay, That's very important. You import it and everything will be the same, but you're gonna have great color graded clips. You won't have any scaling problems, you won't have problems with your effects, you won't have problems with your, with your transitions. It will all be exactly how you edited it, except with the best color grading tools out there. Once you've replaced all your footage in your Premiere Pro timeline, you just click on export and export your video as you normally would in Premiere Pro. Congratulations, you just witnessed the easiest, fastest, 
DaVinci Resolve Premiere Pro uh, round trip workflow that I have been able to find out. It's better than those YouTube videos out there with the exporting of the XML. If you learned something today, hit the like button. Maybe even click subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff in the future. My name is Leopold. You've been watching Stargazer Movies. Till the next time. Take care.